are. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And Eddie and I are about to head to Belknap Park for the event that started it all for us pretty much. The uh, men's doubles division three years ago we did it. Fell in love with tournaments. Yep. Here we go. And we play about exactly the same as we did three years ago too. <laughs> pretty much. We are bright and early at Belknap Park. It is men's doubles day, and we are going to be competing in men's doubles 4.0. You ready for this? I'm ready, man. I mean, we basically set ourselves up for success. We didn't eat yesterday, except for like a protein bar yep. and maybe an apple. And then stayed out late playing once again. <laughs> <laughs> Very late. Consumed a lot of beer. Yep. Uh, and got like four hours of sleep. So <laughs> what a better combo to set yourself up for success. Exactly. For men's doubles. Yeah. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna go hard, but we beat Jay, so. Yeah, yeah to be honest, mission accomplished already. Yep. We beat Jay, that was the main yep. objective for this whole entire trip, so anything else is just bonus. That's right. So we're just gonna go out there, we're gonna play our hearts out, but whatever happens, happens. We've already won. That's right. It's game time, let's do this. Let's do it. First game was not so good. We did not score one point, but that's just that's how we roll. We like to start off that way here at the Beer City Open. Now is where we shine. Let's we'll see how it goes.
Man, what a difference game two was to game one. They shut us out in game one. We <laughs> so, couldn't do anything in no. game one, man. I feel like that was like our typical Eddie and Webby starting yeah. at the Beer City Open is going without any points. Uh, but the second game, we put up a great fight. It was very close from beginning to end. We had the lead for a bit of it too. I thought we played great that second game. They just played better. I agree. Uh, they're I mean, they were the better team. They deserve to win. We started off really slow, like, like Webby said, but that's all right, man. We, we want to play the most amount of games possible to get yep. gold. So this is exactly exactly where we want to be. Yes, exactly where we want to be. We right. want to work our way up th through the opportunity bracket. Yep. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. First round of the opportunity bracket. It's do or die time. We've been in this position many times. So hopefully this is the first of many opportunity bracket matches. Let's go. First round of opportunity bracket is done. And how did it go? Not good. Yes. No. Uh, 15 not good. 4 was the final score. We just 
We could not do anything, man. I don't understand why we couldn't put a point together. But <laughs> yeah. literally, nothing was working. Yeah, nothing at all. That was uh, that was a heartbreaker, just because like I don't know what happened. <laughs> just yeah. a very confusing and bad match for us. <laughs> yeah, I, I seriously, I don't even know what to say except for I've left some matches feeling good. I've left some matches feeling bad. I've never left a match feeling this way of like what the heck just happened. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Beer City Open men's doubles division, but it brings out the worst in both of us, I feel like. Apparently, I don't get we're, it. We're not bad against pros, so yeah. put us in against uh, four old players, and right. we just can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we're on to the beer bracket now. That's right. No, it's still pretty early, so we might yeah. go to like the coffee bracket or breakfast bracket or something, and then go to the beer bracket. Yep. But either way, at the Beer City Open, it's, it's a win-win situation, because now we go 0-2 out, and we can just relax, have fun, Drink some beer, yeah. watch some awesome pickleball. So to me, it's still a win. And we still get to commentate today and tomorrow. Watch some amazing pro matches. That's right. Still, uh, you know, still do our thing here and our hosting duties, which is a lot of fun. And let's keep doing it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, so what's the best thing to do after going 0-2 out? We celebrate with mimosas. Right. Cheers. All right, so even though Eddie and I are done playing, there is a whole bunch of awesome pro matches going on all day long. We got gender doubles, so let's check out some of the action. Everybody, this is Webby, and we have a brand new segment that we'd like to introduce to you. It's something we like to call Cass on the Street. Take it away, Cass. I'm going to be interviewing some pros and asking some of your favorite questions that have not ever been aired before. So we're here with the one and only Lauren Stratman. How's it going? Hey, guys. Great. So we've asked you before. You do have a couple nicknames, right? Yes, I do. I've heard you've been called Lolo. Yes. Is that just... <laughs> I prefer Lolo. I like Lo. Um, Crow Low is what Dom and the APP call me because I'm Croatian. My dad is half Croatian and I am a quarter. <laughs> so Crow Low. How's the tournament been for you so far? It's been great. I First time here, I love this tournament. Um, it's a great vibe, great venue, great crowd support, which I love when I come to the tournament. So everyone's really friendly. Um, Andrew's doing a great job, the whole crew. It's, it's been awesome. You guys were very entertaining the other day playing against Jocelyn. And I had a blast commentating that. How did it feel getting your ass kicked by Eddie and Webby the other night? Yeah, it was a tough performance. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't expect uh, to lose. Uh, I had trouble sleeping. My uh, my triceps still hurts. Um, they look inflamed. The left one, especially, yeah. And but you know, I think I will recover and come back stronger, and um, I will play them again. Yeah. and beat them this time. We got lucky, uh, the crowd was against me, I felt everything, the wind was not on my side, I felt the sun was shining, I, I saw people like using laser in my eyes, but it, it doesn't matter, you know, adversity is what I like and I will come back stronger and beat, beat them for sure. I'm over here in Vendor Village, and I gotta tell you guys, tournament directors, have a beer tent at your events. It's so cool to know that I can go and get some nice parent beer while watching pickleball. You guys should all have beer tents at your events, especially with good beer like parent. Let's go! Let's go. Yeah, Woo! same! Three, two, one. Back here on Championship Court, I'm with Andrea Coop, Callie oh. Smith.
So right here we got the women's doubles gold medal match going on. Yeah, here. We have Callie, and then Callie over there too. Nice. We're back in the Franklin Pickleball Studio. I'm with the gold medalists, Callie Smith and Andrew Coop. Next time on Eddie and Webby's Beer City Open Adventures. It's been over a year since we did an Eddie versus Webby match, but it's time. This is the first time we've ever done a dink battle. Yep for the Eddie versus Webby Championship belt. We're gonna fist bump right now, and then we're mortal enemies until one of us wins, and then we're best friends again. How does that sound? That's right, let's do it. Mortal enemy. Pickleball addicting and fun, that's no joke. Pickleball and it's not just for old folks. Pickleball. 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 I promise she's not named after Kelly Smith. She's 12 years old, and I didn't know Kelly Smith. That's 12 years ago.